practice, dedication, and teamwork. All crucial ingredients to having a successful team, but the players and coaches on the women's basketball team at Florida State say that's not enough. So they challenge themselves and each other every day to be more. Well, we, we felt like a lot of people ask for more and they, they strive for more and we felt like be more was more an embodiment of who we are. That, that we wanted to be a team of character, a team that gives back, a team that has more internally so that we can give more externally. Um, I think it means, just like it says, be more than, you know, just yourself. Don't just worry about yourself, the team. It's all about the community, the people, you know, who come out and support and like our boosters, just everybody that gives to us. And we're just pretty much giving back to them in lots of ways. And the team has done just that this season after becoming a mentor for one of their biggest fans. Well, I started working with the team my freshman year, so I've been going ever since 2000. Gabby, I think she was probably a few months old when she started going to basketball games. So <laughs> it was a part of my life and definitely wanted to make sure it was a part of her life. It, it goes back to her mom, and her mom was a student at Florida State and was a manager for us. and just tremendous in every area. And now you see little Gabby and you're just like, gosh, you know, it's here. I've lived through this. I've watched now my players and my managers have children and those children are looking at my children now in, on my team. And so for little Gabby to be a super fan and looking up to my players, uh, it's a real big responsibility, but, but one we really relish. And my wife got basketball games because um, she was the fastest player. I mean, I know there's a lot of fans that like how I play, I guess, and because I'm small and I'm quick, but to know that there's a little young girl that really, like, looks up to you, it keeps me going, and it's just, I mean, it's a good feeling. As basketball players, you know, you just look at them as, or most people look at them as just athletes, but they're role models for young girls. They're showing girls that you can go to school, you can further your education, you can be whatever you want to be. You don't want them to just sit around and think, oh, I'm a girl or I'm a female, I can't do anything. I mean, you want them to always know that you can do whatever you want to be, aspire to be something big in life. And when the team's super fan was asked what she wanted to be when she grew up, she didn't hold back. Um, I want to be a princess. I like to be a zebra. Being a basketball player. And Gabby's favorite player agrees there is no doubt that she can become just that, and she wanted to leave her with one piece of advice. Don't let anybody underestimate you. I mean, I think that's a big one just with my size. Uh, I know there's people who doubted me and thought that, you know, I wasn't going to even make it to a Division I, like, big-time school because of my height. And, you know, now they see and they're like, wow. So, I mean, I think don't ever give up and just follow your dreams. And as fun as it may be for Gabby to cheer on the Knowles and be involved with the team, Coach Sue hopes she understands the bigger picture and wants her to remember them for one thing. To be a giver, you know, that, that we stop for other people, that it's not about us, it's about uh, the greater good. And, and I hope that what she sees now and that what she experienced in us stopping, being a part of her life, caring about what she's doing, that she in turn will have that just, in, just internally for herself to be able to go out and do that for others. Their purpose extends far beyond the court. They are more than just athletes. They are an inspiration, and they are role models. And at the end of the day, they are leaving their footprint on the lives of so many people as they strive to be more. I'm Cole Robertson for Seminole Sports Magazine.